and welcome to my vlog. My name is Kev and this is my vlog where I try to show how I get through my day and my week um, using my coping skills to help deal with my various disorders. Those being schizoaffective disorder which for me is a combination of schizophrenia and bipolar 1. I also um, have to cope with inattentive ADD and um, CPTSD and I'm also working my way back from an eating disorder and I also deal with insomnia and uh, that's kind of severe so this is my vlog where uh, I try to show how I'm trying to get get ahead in life um, in my first year of vlogging I worked on stabilization and working on my routines and um, just getting my days more stable, getting me more grounded. And this year I'm working more towards um, finding some sort of success. And uh, I'm enjoying the journey and thanks for coming along with me. We got some waves coming in here. That's pretty cool. Um, so this week was kind of a strange week. Um, on Monday, um, well, a lot of the week, um, I was saying I really need to get to the ocean. I really need to um, kind of sit by the ocean and be by the water. And um, it, I didn't, I didn't, it's the end of the week and I'm finally getting to the water. So I did want to let you know that I made it to the end of the week. I'm doing pretty good. And uh, I finally get into the ocean, so. It's nice, I love the salt water smell and um, seeing the boats and stuff. So this week, um, I started off Monday where the previous Sunday I was very overwhelmed. I was having a difficult weekend. And um, Monday started off okay. I had to work my way up from zero in, through my routine. But then I didn't vlog throughout the day. I just vlogged in the beginning and forgot to vlog. I was just hyper-focused on getting things done that day and so Tuesday I get back on my vlog and uh, I show you some of the goals that I'm working on and I hope that it's clear for you kind of gives you an idea of the things that I do for my work sessions and stuff um, this week I spend a lot of the week looking at my goals and um, various paths that I might have for incomes um, and I also come up with a, an idea for a merch item, um, which you'll see in the vlog and you might have already seen on social media. Um, that is some merchandise, Kev D. Moore, uh, daily illness, different stuff, merchandise, um, that would help support my efforts and my mission. Um, a lot of the week I kind of wanted to curl up in my bed and just hide. I was stuck in freeze and so the way I get out of it was using opposite action um, which is um, something I learned from DBT and it worked out well for me where instead of doing that I went out I left the house I spent the second half of the week outside with friends um, I was doing a lot of peer support for friends and lending an ear and they were doing the same for me so it was really nice. Um, there was something I was going to mention that people who have chronic illnesses, mental and physical, we often, you might find, um, I don't wait until everything's all better to start going out and do stuff again. I wait till my pain level gets low enough that I'm capable of doing it. And then I do it with the pain. Uh, people who have chronic illnesses, don't wait till it all gets better to start doing things again because it doesn't always just get better. Um, so we wait. Tell me if you can relate to that if you have a chronic illness that we just wait until we're at a level where we're capable of doing things. Um, so I, yeah, I, um, I really enjoyed being able to do a lot of peer support, helping my friends. Um, seems like a lot of people around me are going through a difficult time at the moment. Um, the two things that I'm really struggling with is I'm working my way back from 
kind of a low in my eating disorder where I haven't been eating well, I've lost my hunger cues, and been getting dizzy and fainting. Um, so I'm working my way back through Ensure, trying to eat what I can, what I can. And, um, and my sleep has been very bad. Um, my insomnia is kind of at a severe level where I'm going on a few hours a night and several nights a week I'm going without sleep. Um, so those are the two things that I'm working on and I feel like I'm kind of battling my way back from, from some new lows in those areas. Um, and so what I've decided to do is I'm going to take the week off the vlog um, this coming week. Uh, I'm not going to be vlogging, I'm going to focus on getting back into my routine, eating better, sleeping better, and then I'm going to work on my side projects, which are different videos, mental health education videos, which I just really haven't had time to really work on. So um, that's going to be my coming week, is I'm going to take the week off, focus on my eating, on my sleeping, getting my routine back in order, and then... Uh, and and then continue again but uh it is the end of the week and i'm doing pretty good i had a good meal today and i am going to rewind you back to monday um so thanks for tuning in the vlog be sure to like and subscribe down in the description below i have lots of interesting links that you can check out um there may even be some merch in there i'm not sure some uh some early merch <laughs> um so okay I'm going to rewind you back to Monday and have fun watching the intro. Hello, happy Monday. It is Monday morning. Um, I slept really well last night. Um, well, that's not true. <laughs> Why did I say that? I feel like I slept really well last night, but I really only got a few hours. Um, I was kind of tossing and turning a bit, but when I woke up, I felt pretty good. So I feel like I got a good amount of sleep. Um, I'll probably need a nap midday. Uh, my pain level is about a five, six, not doing too bad. Um, I'm just out for my walk and I'm going to go home and have some, com have some coffee, watch some comedy. Um, I'm waking up, my mood is pretty good. Um, I had a friend this morning, I woke up, I had a friend this morning who was having a bit of a tough time and um, I was able to support them, um, which was really good. Made me feel good, someone that I care about, so it's always good to help people. So I was able to be there, and then uh, before I start my day, and um, so now I'm gonna go back home. My mood is good, I'm gonna have some coffee, and then today is mostly gonna be work sessions for me. I don't have any meetings. Uh, but I do have a to-do list with a lot of things on it and it was kind of overwhelming me yesterday. I got a little overwhelmed on Sunday um, with all of my to-dos. So today I'm going to crack open my book of many things and look at my to-do list and I'm going to connect, excuse me, I'm going to connect online through Zoom with friends who also are working on their to-do list and we'll do it together on Zoom and have some work sessions with friends today. So that's my day today. Happy Monday. Uh, feeling good? How about you? Hello. Happy Tuesday. Um, I'm not doing so great, but I'm doing okay. Um, yesterday, uh, I was 
Yesterday was a hard day, but it was a productive day. I didn't vlog. Um, I was very focused, um, a little hyper-focused on getting things done on my to-do list. And I kind of went into Monday, into work mode, and I realized I didn't check in at all. Um, but I did get a lot of work done. Um, I answered a lot of emails. Spent the first half of the day answering emails and responding to people who were waiting on my response. Um, I was very overwhelmed yesterday. Um, I have a lot of things that I'm juggling, a lot of things on my plate. And I kind of felt like I had to look at them all and say, what's going to move me forward in my direction? And what is just really there, not doing anything but stressing me out? And um, I took a couple things off my plate, um, and I feel good about it. Um, they were just kind of things that don't really have to do with my mission, um, and um, they were kind of really stressing me out. So um, I said, okay, Kev, the, the risk is not worth the reward, and... Um, and so I spent my efforts on other things. And so yesterday, um, one of the things that I was working on is I wanted to get, do some shows at the senior places, senior centers and senior living facilities in my area. Um, reason being is that I need to make some money. And uh, I've been performing at senior homes for the last 10 years now as a member of Toon Foolery. And, um, and I thought, I can't drive, so I have to stay local. So I thought I'd check my neighborhood to see what senior homes and living facilities are in the area and reach out to them and um, put together a press kit. So what I did yesterday is I listed the places in the area. I reached out to each of them and got their contact information for their activities director or the, other, the person that would hire and um, drafted up letters and just kind of spoke to them. I spoke to one place that was very willing to hire me right then and there. <laughs> and uh, But I got at least three or four places that are expecting an email from me and are would look to hire me to come in and perform a one and a half hour show of oldies from the, from the 50s to the 70s or so, you know. And uh, I enjoy doing those shows it's not a lot of pressure on me. I enjoy the music and the audiences are nice and grateful. So that's something I can do um, to make some money. So I worked hard on that yesterday. I also have a project that I'm working on because uh, I'm hoping to go to Yale University for the Students with Psychosis 2024 National Conference. And in order for me to go, um, Logically, I'm going to have to, realistically, I'm going to have to raise some funds. So I did some work on that, creating a bio site, and um, I was working on a script for um, a video that I'm gonna make that explains the whole thing. And um, I'm not keen on raising funds. Um, I have a really hard time um, asking for help and asking for things like that, so um, I'm being very, uh, I'm, I know I need to work on this project, but I kind of, my brain doesn't want to because it's, um, because it's asking for things. And, uh, but I did get a lot of work. I wrote up the whole script for the video and it says, you know, the scene, what the shot looks like and my script. And, um, I got some other stuff done too and some very random things um, just on my to-do list. I don't have my to-do list here, but I came up with a really cool t-shirt idea. So keep an eye out for that. You might see um, a, a Kev G. Moore t-shirt coming out. Um, and um, I rescheduled the show that I had to cancel because of COVID um, in Lynn Mass at Walnut Street Cafe. Um, I rescheduled that for October 5th. So that's happy. I'm glad to to be able to do that show with Glimmer, and uh, and we did a show last week 
with Glimmer and you probably saw in the vlog and I really enjoyed it. So having another show uh, with her is gonna be great. And um, I set that up and I confirmed it with the owner and with Glimmer, so that's good to go. And then um, here I'm working on my songs lists for the senior centers and um, I did a lot of work with that. Um, I'm also working on, hope, hoping to work on, I have a list of um, mental health videos to make and I really want to make these videos but they're a longer process than just creating a vlog um, or a music video. Uh, a music video is a little easier for me because the audio is already there, it's just the song and you're just putting video over it. These videos are a little more intricate where I speak and I'm talking, there's some graphics and different different changes and uh, I'm, I'm not accustomed to reading off a script. <laughs> um, I usually just turn the, I think about, what am I gonna talk about? Okay, I'm gonna talk about what I'm gonna do today and then I just hit record. <laughs> so um, it's very different for me but I am kind of the person who um, when I want to try to do something and I'm not sure if I can do it, I just do it and see how it turns out. Um, a little sneak preview of the shirt design, live, love, semicolon. Um, hopefully that's already out so nobody can steal it. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so I got a lot of work done today. I feel good about it. Um, I'm a little ahead of the game today, which is nice. But I woke up in a really hard place. Um, I woke up at a zero, just like I did yesterday. And it was really hard to get going. I actually remember telling myself today, I'm just not gonna vlog this week. I'm gonna take that off the table too. Um, but then as the day went on, you know, I try not to judge my day until I'm through my routine and get all my grumpies out of me and kind of work my way up the ladder. I'm a little further up the ladder, above fight or flight now. And I thought, you know, I didn't vlog at all yesterday except for the morning check-in. And um, I've made it through my routine today and I said, you know what, just get on there and say, hey, it's Tuesday, this is what happened Monday and this is what's happening Tuesday and just pick up from there. So. All in all, yesterday was a very difficult day. Um, my stress was high because I was low on resources, and but I knew I was going to be. Um, I reached out to friends, and um, it was it was really helpful. <laughs> um, I spent the day with friends, and um, that was on Sunday. Oh, I'm getting confused. Sunday, I was having a hard time as well. So I went to my friend's house, spent the day in their screen shed, and it was a very social day. But what I feel I needed was some alone time. So Monday, um, I was just, I felt like I was behind the game and stressed out. So I spent the whole day focused on catching up. And I feel like I did that. Um, and today I'm going to do kind of what I needed on Sunday and I've needed since the weekend, which was go sit by the ocean and ground myself. Um, I used to do that a lot. If you watch vlog one, uh, year one, um, I do spend a lot of time during the spring, summer and fall. Um, just go sit, have a cup of coffee by the ocean and ground myself. And what I do is I kind of let myself think about what I need to think about for a little while. And then I'll open up my book of everything and kind of look at all the things that I'm doing in life and just check that I'm still going the right direction. Um, I feel like I'm going every, every which way. And if I can sit down, sit by the ocean, makes me feel comfortable and like, it sounds weird, but I feel less significant and less important in my world. And so everything, all my issues seem a little smaller. And I'm able to look at them being a little smaller and say, which, which issue, which, what things that I'm working on is going in the path that I wanna go? Um, although I don't have a final destination, well, we all have the same final destination. <laughs> but um, 
you know, I don't have a specific destination in mind. Um, I have dreams and I envision things that I'd like to do in the future. And um, is this path gonna, are, are these things bringing me down that path or are they distracting me away into other paths? Um, and I've had some of that recently. So I feel like uh, I'm hustling, trying to get work and trying to make money here and there. And while I'm trying to stay on this central path of um, recovery and advocacy, um, which does not bring money. <laughs> so um, my, my day today is um, I finished my routine and I did go for a walk. I went out because I had to go get some milk. And then today my goal is uh, I'm going to go sit by the ocean. Uh, I have to go to the food bank. I have to run a couple errands today. I have to take the train. Um, but then I'm going to come back home after my errands and grab a cup of coffee and go sit by the ocean and um, bring my trusty book of many things and look at all my projects and see where I'm going. So my mood now is, is about a seven or an eight. I'm not way up there and super motivated. I'm slightly motivated. <laughs> and I'm using that slight motivation to try to draw more motivation. I got so much done yesterday. I feel like I, I feel good about taking the day um, for self-care today. And that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I will bring you uh, along the way. So, um, I'll see you in the next clip. Cheers. Well, I'm home from my errands and uh, I'm feeling a little better having been out, had a couple train rides, got to sit. and um, I was sitting waiting for the train for a while and I got to listen to music and um, do some sending of messages to friends. Um, so that's been nice. Uh, I'm at home again, and my plan is to go up to the ocean, but it's getting kind of chilly out, so I wanted to decide, um, and I just got a lot of 45 minutes of kind of sitting there and um, stuff. So I'm thinking I might do a little work session and um, try to eat something. Uh, actually, no, I just ate. Um, but um, while I was out doing my errands, I got McDonald's, so that was nice. Um, and, uh, right now I'm not getting hunger cues, so I just have to remember, oh, this is when I normally eat. And, um, so I did eat. So yeah, I'm thinking I might do a work session and, um, and then see if I want to go up to the ocean or not then, or if my mind is kind of needing something different. So, cause the weather is not the best. So, um, but it's still not bad. So, um, we'll see in a couple hours. Hey, well, um, I've just been here kind of doing this and that, reflecting, looking out the window, listening to some music, um, little thoughts that I would pass along. Um, I spent 10 years in Alaska, um, and during that time I helped raise uh, my partner's daughter, my partner at the time. And um, so from 10 years, uh, I guess from age four to 14, um, I played a role of stepfather um, to her daughter. And uh, though I'm not in communication with that person, uh, I'm still in communication with the daughter. Um, so I consider myself having a stepdaughter and she lives in Alaska. And um, we send messages back and forth um, through through an app, and um, it's very nice. We kind of connect. We have a uh, similar history and have dealt with some of the same peoples and traumas in our lives. And um, I'm I'm happy to fill that role as a stepdad to her. And um, recently she's lost people that we both know, her grandmother and um, struggling with family issues. And it's been nice that through technology, I've been able to be there and be an ear 
and give some advice when I can. Um, and she passed along a song to me um, called Precious Memories, which I had never heard. And um, Patsy Cline does it, and I think Alan Jackson does it. Um, but it was very nice, and it really hit me in a good spot because I also found out today that uh, a friend of mine from high school days, music days, um, passed away suddenly. And this friend of mine, um, we grew up in the same town, went to the same school, hung out with all the same people. Um, and she was a singer, great singer, um, and um, struggled with a lot of the things that I struggle with uh, mentally. And so I could relate to her um, in, in that way. And I think that went back and forth. Um, and when I hear the phrase passed away suddenly, um, that draws different images to mind. Um, but it's, it was sad to hear today uh, of, of her passing. And because I can relate to her in such a, a, a long-term way, um, and, uh, so hearing the song Precious Memories, um, really kind of hit me today. And I'm just, I have, I find that I'm reflecting, um, and back on high school days and, um, she used to sing for this band and I had friends in the band too and I've gone to see their shows many times um, and just seeing each other at you know annual friends gatherings you know here and there and stuff we weren't close friends but we were all in the same friend group so I'm just kind of reflecting on that. Um, I'm still thinking about going up to the ocean, maybe put on a sweater. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I'm just relaxing here for a little bit. And I haven't started a work session yet. And I'm still, um, I'm just kind of caught up in reflection right now. So um, yeah. Well, I did some chores. I went to the food bank today. Um, I got some reflecting time and uh, I got some writing done. I did some songwriting today. Uh, it's been a good evening. I had um, some deviled eggs and a pasta salad uh, just recently. Um, and I had a pint of ice cream, which is nice. You can probably sit, see right there. Uh, so now I'm relaxing. And I'm just doing some video editing, editing the vlog uh, for last week. So that's my evening. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, and um, I'm not very sleepy, though it's 10 o'clock at night. So that's why I'm doing some video editing. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my evening. I'll probably head to bed here soon. Um, okay kind of hope that I wake up in a better mood tomorrow. It seems like in the morning I've, wake, I've woken up in a difficult mood. Um, but tomorrow I have, I have some yogurt. I got some yogurt today. That's good for me in the morning, gets me going. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow I can get up and kind of feel better a little quicker. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Um, I went to bed last night and I couldn't fall asleep. I laid in bed and listened to a critical, old Critical Role podcast that I've listened to a million times. And uh, for about four hours I laid there and then finally I got up and it was about three in the morning. So I decided to get up and start working through my routine. Um, and then I did some video editing and you can see behind me the moon. Oh, let me see if I can get it to show. The moon, there it is. Hello moon. Um, 
So um, I decided today I would get up and go play some music in the subway, try to make some money. I've been kind of not wanting to do that lately because the last time I did it, um, someone took my money, and um, which has happened in the past, but I always get nervous that they're going to take my guitar, and uh, I don't want to get robbed and lose my guitar. I don't mind losing a few bucks that I earned, but I don't know. I figured I'd, I had a feeling if I went today, I would have a good experience, so I'm just going with it. And uh, I'm a little sleepy now, so I'll probably just go busking for three or four hours for the morning commute, because it's about 5.30 in the morning now. Um, so I do the morning commute into Boston. Nice, relaxing guitar music. And some people appreciate it. And I enjoy doing it, usually. <laughs> um, and then I come home and it'll be like 10 o'clock, I can take a nap. I could get a whole night's sleep if I want to. So that's the plan. My, uh, my mood is okay, I'm just getting sleepy. And uh, my pain level is about a four. So not too bad, that's why I decided I might as well go out and do something. Hey, so this is where I set up and play here. Um, here at North Station and I just played for about four hours and I'm kind of tired so I'm gonna head home and it's about getting near lunch so I'm gonna head home I made a little bit of money and, um, and I'm tired and hungry so um, it wasn't a bad day it wasn't a great day um, yeah. I'll see you when I get home so after I played in the subway I went home I had some breakfast and um, then I took a nap. I slept for about an hour and a half, two hours. And then I got up, had some more breakfast, <laughs> some yogurt, and um, went through my routine, took my meds, took a shower, got changed. Um, and then I had a bowl of chicken noodle soup. Then I just went right back out the door, hopped on the train, and I'm back in Boston. Uh, I'm going to my friend's house because I would like to do some songwriting and I kind of wanted to be out of the house. I didn't want to be home cooped up. So uh, I'm going to do some songwriting at my friend's backyard screen house. Uh, they're not even in town. They're in New York City. But I'm going to go in their backyard and they let me do that. Go in their backyards sit in the screen shed and relax. It's kind of my little work office away from home. And I got a nice big iced coffee. Um, I hydrated on the way out here so I wouldn't be dehydrated. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. I'm feeling up at Safe and Social. And uh, I might connect with some other friends and see what they're up to and if they want to come by the screen shed and do some songwriting with me, some of my songwriting friends. And then um, later on this evening, I think I'm gonna to go to another friend's house and visit with them. So um, that's my afternoon. Hey, just went for a walk to get a coffee because I knocked my other coffee over. But I've had a good day hanging out in the screen house. I did a lot of songwriting. A lot of free writing and and then some editing and I found some stuff that I like so that's good um, a couple of friends might come meet me in the shed and hang out and then uh, might go um, hang out somewhere else or head home or I don't know I'm not sure what yet um, but uh, my evening is going well my mood is up at safe and social my pain level is about a three or a four. Um, I've eaten, and I actually, um, since I'm going and I might stay overnight somewhere, um, I bring cans of soup and I put them in my backpack so I can just I eat them right out of the can. And uh, just like a quick snack. <laughs> it's weird, I know. Um, 
All right, I'm having a good evening though, and I feel good. Hey, I just finished sneezing from the sun. <laughs> um, today is Thursday, and uh, last night I stayed at a friend's house. I leave a sleeping bag there and crash on the floor. And then tonight, I mean tonight, the today, um, I got up, did my routine, I had some coffee, I went for a little walk, um, took my meds, and uh, my friends are meeting up again um, at another friend's house, and um, we're getting some Chinese food, some, we ordered some poopa platters, and I'm walking to the store to get us some sodas. Um, and um, yeah, we're, I think we're gonna hang out in that little screen shed that we've been hanging out and in. It's become my second office. So I'll probably do some work sessions there. Uh, and yeah, just hang out with a group of my friends being social. I'm feeling up at safe and social. I have a little layer of depression today. I can feel that my needle is just kind of pointing that way a little bit. Um, Nothing for me to worry about. I think my just my routine, being out in the sun, up and moving and being social will kind of make that needle go back up to uh, center. So uh, all in all, my mood is good. Uh, my pain level is kind of high today, um, but I don't, I'm not doing a lot physically today. So my body should have plenty of time to rest. Good morning, happy Friday. Um, it's actually three in the afternoon. Um, last night I had a difficult night sleeping and I feel like the screen is foggy. That's better. <laughs> um, I had a, a sleepless night last night and a very frustrating night. Um, and then I fell asleep as the sun came up and I slept from about six till noon. And, um, and I woke up, I didn't, it wasn't a good sleep. I woke up um, every hour or so, just kind of deciding whether to go back to sleep or get up. And I finally got up about one. And I woke up at a zero, my mood. Um, I woke up with heavy depression, a lot of mm, un, undirected anger, um, and just kind of in a bad place. Um, so what I do is um, I try not to judge the day yet. Um, before I developed a routine, it would be really hard to move forward with a day like this and I would want to just stay in bed and uh, even though I don't like being in bed. But since I've developed my routine, I try not to judge my routine until I've gone, I mean, my day, until I've gone through my routine. So I started with my coffee and comedy, and uh, I've been having my coffee here, and I'm just using this cup from last night <laughs> and just putting the morning coffee in it and just rinsed it out. Um, because I haven't done my dishes, my place is kind of messy. So I'm not, I, I woke up and I'm just not in the best place. Um, and, and very tired and very hungry. Um, I'm not sure what to do. So what I do is, yeah, do my routine. Um, I've been doing my coffee and comedy for about an hour or so. Um, I just took my meds. So uh, my next step is to take a shower and get changed. Um, I'm not moving fast, but at least I'm moving forward. I think of that a lot. Um, I my mood has gone from a zero to a two, maybe. And um, oftentimes when I work my way up the ladder, the zero is below fight or flight, freeze and fawn. Uh, I start to hit fight or flight around when I bring my mood up to a three or a four. And sometimes it's easy to get knocked back down to a zero. 
So I do it with um, mindfulness of, um, of that. And when I hit the fight or flight, I try to use the fight energy to keep moving forward and get above up and get myself up to a six, seven or eight where I'm starting to get in safe and social. Um, I don't wake up every morning at a zero, uh, but I used to. And I still wake up a good amount of times at a zero and um, I have a lot of sleep issues that cause that. So some days it's tiring. Um, anything that's chronic and is can be tiring. So, um, so I'm moving forward with my next step is to take a shower and have some yogurt. Um, and I have plans for the day. I just don't know if I am capable of them or not yet. I haven't. I haven't made that decision. Um, I'm hoping so. Um, all right, so I'll keep moving forward. Well, I'm out for a walk. Um, I'm at fight or flight. Fight, fawn, freeze, or flight. Choose your pick. Um, where I like to be is fight because I can turn that energy around and fight for myself. Um, and I'm trying to get that way. I'm a little at freeze. Um, and so I'm doing opposite action. I want to curl up in my bed and cry and stress out. And um, so I'm doing the opposite is I'm going for a walk in the sunshine and uh, it's hard, it's hard to do the opposite action, but it's gonna help me get above, get up to a six or seven, hopefully, and get above the fight or flight. And um, I'll be able to move on with my day. My goal is, I have a friend who's performing in Chinatown today, and a couple friends that are also gonna go to the performance, so I would like to, get out there and do it um, and I'm just kind of trying to find my resources for the day to do that um, I'm also trying to develop spoons for my drawer I don't have a lot of spoons for the day you know spoons meaning like emotional energy and and motivation uh, so I'm trying to work that up as well um, and uh, I'm just gonna try to keep moving forward. I'm doing opposite action today, whereas I want to, in my fight or flight today, I wanted to freeze. I wanted to go back in bed, lock myself away from the world, and get under the covers and just rock myself back and forth. and. It's not what I want to do, that's what I feel like I need, you know. So I'm doing opposite action, which is a DBT technique. And I did it earlier by going for a walk, but I'm doing it in a grander scale where I'm coming into Boston and I'm going to see some friends and be social in a supportive way. They're friends who are part of my inner circle of friends who are my support systems. They know that I'm having a tough day today. So I'm going to hang out in the screen shed, um, which we are now calling the they shed. We were calling it a she shed, but now we're calling it a they shed. And, um, and I'm gonna do some songwriting, do a little visiting with friends. So it's me being a little social and getting out of the house and, uh, but I'm also getting some peace and quiet while I'm out here walking. I'll get some time in the shed to just sit and relax, maybe play some guitar. So I didn't make it to my friend's show today. Uh, my friend had a show in Chinatown 
it was a cultural event and um, I did text her told her that I was having a harder day and I wasn't gonna make it to her show that I really wanted to be there and support her and I told her that I was sending all my extra energy her way so she would have a good show uh, my other friend who went to the show texted me and said that the show went really well and now they're gonna come hang out with me in the they shed and um, I, I really feel like I, I would like to talk about the things that I'm stressed about and having a friend there to listen will be really helpful um, so that's that's my plan Hey, so um, I've been hanging out with friends and um, had McDonald's for dinner. I don't know if I mentioned that. And um, I'm also going to have an Ensure. Uh, but I'm feeling a lot better. My mind is still ping-ponging around lots of different stresses and things that I got going on. But I don't have that overwhelmed feeling. Um, and um, it's nice being around supportive friends and eventually you start laughing and joking and it's nice your mood lifts so this was an opposite action that um, is working out for me and i got to talk about some of the things that i was stressed about and um, i actually got a little bit worked out and we found some solutions um, and that will help me get through some obstacles so that was good um, so now I'm just going for a walk running to the store and doing a snack run um, and then I'm I think I'm gonna spend the next two days at different friends house sorry it's so dark right now um, but I'm gonna spend um, the next two nights at different friends house um, visiting and just kind of doing work sessions getting support giving support and um, just continuing with this road um, because it seems to be working out and it's given me some good time to process the things I want to process so uh, I'll probably see you tomorrow uh, which will be Saturday. It's, I've, every day this week I've been confused about what day it is. Um, I wish I could see right down in the corner where it says what day it is. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll see you later. Hello, happy Saturday. I am back in my friend's screen shed. Um, I've been wanting to come here a lot lately and to get some alone time and get some songwriting done and decompress um, and I've enjoyed coming here the last few days but every time that I've come it's been very social um, so tomorrow I have an early meeting just down the street from my friend's house um, in the morning so I thought I would just spend the day here crash on their couch and uh, that way I don't have to go all the way take the trains home take the trains back in the morning and that's the extra expense so I'm just hanging out here today I'm gonna to be in this little screen shed um, watching the bunnies run around I got a nice um, Dunks iced coffee here and I got some donuts too um, I got two jelly donuts and um, yeah do some songwriting decompressing uh, some personal journaling, maybe I want to do some goal writing and stuff like that. So um, it should be a nice quiet day for me.
Good morning, happy Sunday. Um, let's see, I slept well last night. It's early morning, not a lot of cars out. It's kind of nice and quiet. Um, I slept good on the couch at my friends and I'm getting up, I got a cup of coffee, 7-Eleven. And uh, it's one of my favorite coffees. And now I'm going to chill at this greenhouse but I uh, do a little work. I have a friend that I'm meeting up with today at a coffee shop and he's a bass player, phenomenal bass player. And uh, he's also a friend and we're, he's gonna be playing on my album. But um, today we're just gonna be meeting and talk about how things have been going and uh, life and things like that, so. Uh, I'm looking forward to that and then I don't know what the rest of the day will bring. Uh, my mood is just below safe and social. I need to work my way up a little bit and uh, my pain level is about a six or a seven. So I'm gonna, I got some time to relax and then it should be a pretty nice day. Happy Sunday. It's been a, a good Sunday. Um, I just went and had a meeting with a friend who, a bass player who is also a friend. And um, we got to talk about what's going on in his life, what's going on in my life, what's going on with the album, and um, how we can best support each other um, as friends and musicians. So it went really well. Um, we went to this little diner. Um, I'm back in the shed, just gonna pack up my stuff and head back home. Um, feeling pretty good, hopeful. Um, my pain level's a little high. I just thought I'd kind of chill out here for a little bit, maybe 15, 20 minutes and relax and, uh, and then casually just go catch the train home, no big hurry. Uh, and then when I get home, I'll probably do some cleaning and um, just prepping up my space for the beginning of a new week on Monday. Um, I'm in a good mood and up above safe and social. And I'm glad that I've been able to be there for my friends kind of in a peer specialist role um, today and the last couple days. Um, it, it feels nice to be able to be there for someone to talk to and to listen to them and validate them and, um, and sometimes just sit with them um, through the hard time. So I appreciate being that I was in a place where I was able to do that and um, that I have people who are in my close circle um, that are willing to share those hard times and receive some support so um, it was a good weekend i look forward to the coming week um, the next week is going to be a harder week um, financially and motivation wise um, i really i want to do a lot but i don't know how much i'll be capable of doing so uh, we'll see how it goes uh, but that's next week um, what I'm looking at now is just relax a bit, head home, do some cleaning, listen to some music, and uh, get ready to get some good sleep tonight. Hey, well, that's the week that was. It's the end of the week now, and I finally made it to the ocean, as you saw from the intro of the video. Um, it was a tough week for me. Doing opposite action is not easy. You really, I gotta force myself to do it and I do it in little steps. And uh, I use, you know, I use the fight or flight energy and it's more of the fight energy to make that tiny little step. And I tell myself, I don't need the energy and motivation to do the whole thing. I only need the energy and motivation to do the first step. Because once I do the, the first step is the hardest. And once I do the first step, I can usually keep going and get some momentum. 
So that's what I was doing today. I wanted to curl up in a ball and hide. Um, instead I took opposite action. And, and I also feel like I kind of took care of myself. Um, it was a stressful week. I'm going into a stressful week. And I'm gonna be concentrating on self-care, on my eating, my sleeping. And, um, and like I said, I'm gonna be taking this next week off um, to do that and keep an eye out. I might make some mental health videos, some music videos and various things. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to make some videos about. I'd be happy to see what I can do. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm sure you already have if you watched this far. Um, if you have watched this far, you might be interested in um, checking out my Patreon. That really helps support me in doing this and helps support the different things that I'm trying to do. Um, and I will be adding uh, more content, uh, but I don't wanna do Patreon only content because I feel bad for the people who can't donate a dollar a month or whatnot. Um, there have been times when I've wanted to follow someone on Patreon and check out their content, but I just didn't have that dollar a month. So I don't want that to happen to other people. So I kind of make my Patreon just Everything is open for everyone to see. And if you want to donate and support, um, that option is there for you. And it's great, greatly appreciated because um, it really helps me not only do this vlog, but just get through life and the daily life in general. Um, so thanks so much for watching. And uh, I'm gonna take a week off and then I'll see you right back here again. I am very motivated and hopeful for the future. Um, it's going to go through hard times, but I've been through time, hard times before, and I'll get through this too. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.